So guys, today I want to cover a topic that I've already covered in the past, but unfortunately YouTube deemed inappropriate and I had to take the video off uh, YouTube. Therefore, I'm now going to make another video, kind of like a follow-up, uh, explaining the same topic, and that is, can you keep your steroid gains post-cycle? Now, whether you cycle or you're blasting cruise, is going to depend on your preference and uh, how you like to do things. So let's say that you decide to cycle, where you take, let's say, I don't know, test and decker for 12 weeks and then you decide to come off for, let's say, 12 weeks. In that period, are you going to keep your gains? Now, I think if you only come off for 8 to 10 weeks, then yes, you are, because let's say you've taken test and ante, that doesn't come out of your system for the first four to five weeks so technically by the time your body catches up with you to realize that there's no hormone coming in um, there's no the stimulus is gone you're probably gonna lose a little bit of the fullness you're probably gonna lose a little bit of that sort of oomph that you get on cycle but for the most part you're gonna keep most of it now if you're one of the more serious guys for example myself what I tend to do is I would stay on for let's say four to five months and then I'll come completely off everything for six to eight weeks uh, but before I come off I'll probably switch to a short ester for the last couple of weeks so that I don't have to so that the, the long ester comes off and then I come off completely and then the short ester is out within a couple of days so I'm completely off for six to eight weeks which is what I'm doing right now I'm actually off third week and I'll, I'll probably stay off for another you know four to five weeks Okay, so in that case, if I was to come off and not get on at all, then I would lose everything. And you do not keep your size. A lot of that size and a lot of that muscle is temporary. Because think about it. If you're injecting a hormone which gives you a response, binds onto a receptor and stimulates your body to, to build muscle, by you know increasing nitrogen balance utilizing uh your glycogen stores better you can store more glycogen you know you can recover better so let's say for example um the weight that i'm training right now allows me to recover uh at a certain rate when the hormone is off you cannot physically recover at the same rate you cannot maintain the same intensity of training no matter what anybody says you do not train as hard when you're off and it's not just the mental side it's just the fact that your body physically cannot uh, adapt to the same amount and the, the same uh, speed which is why you're gonna lose a lot of the oomph that you're getting also because you store glycogen better on when you come off the glycogen that that ability kind of goes off which is why you're going to be a lot sorry I, I, that's fine don't worry about it yeah, I just oh no no it's perfectly fine i'll just uh, crop it out later <laughs> that's all right <laughs> essentially what's going to happen is you are um you're going to not be as full you're not going to you're not going to keep that fullness that you have on so that's why i sorry, crop bye. it off later it's all right so therefore because you can't keep that fullness coming in the way but um, uh, yeah so I want to say that if you decide to come off completely yeah you're gonna lose pretty much everything and why I say pretty much everything is because let's say that you're someone who trained uh, natural for three years and you got to about 60% to set to 65% of your uh, natural potential maybe even up to 80% if you're genetically blessed now let's say that you decide to come on gear in that first year of taking stuff you get yourself up to and maybe a little bit past that natural potential now because you've trained on for let's say that year you've made a lot of progress in, in terms of strength and you've matured that's that muscle so therefore if you now decide to come off there's your natural potential there's where you are right now then that's gonna come down and you can probably maintain at your natural potential so you're not gonna lose completely everything so let's say you start gear at 180 that takes you to about 210 pounds if you come off everything forever not come back not ever come back on then you're probably gonna maintain somewhere around here which is your natural potential which is still not too bad because 
it might take you five years to reach that and in a year you can probably in on gear you can probably do that within a year which you know it's ideal pretty much but that said though you're not gonna be able to sustain a muscle mass level that requires uh say hormone levels of let's say 5000 when your hormone levels are maybe 500 you know it just it's not going to happen for you to maintain a certain amount of muscle mass you need to have certain hormonal levels which if you haven't got there's no way your body is going to maintain that which is what i need to which is what i'm trying to explain to you it's the fact that because you haven't got the stimulus coming in it's not going to work not just because of obviously the glycogen and and the nitrogen retention and the recovery ability all that stuff it's purely the fact that your receptors are not being stimulated as much therefore you haven't got as, as high amounts of testosterone increased amount of testosterone of testosterone will mean increased muscle mass that is you know uh, that is linear you you know that you know that that's undebatable so if you take that stimulus out then of course you're gonna lose that uh, and that's just talking about the sort of the, the muscle mass and the size we're not talking about the cosmetic effects that you get from stuff like Winstrol and Mastron that is completely you know temporary that pretty much goes away within a week or two of coming off that stuff as soon as it comes out of your body but yeah the stuff that, that you know a lot of the estrogenic stuff a lot of the stuff that makes you retain more water inside the muscle all that stuff well that will go and to be fair a lot of the size that that comes with that is kind of an illusion so if you see like for example the bicep why am I why your bicep might look fuller on is because it's holding a lot more water inside the muscle and a lot more glycogen so you can store a lot more glycogen in your muscles when you're on than when you're off um, which is basically why you look fuller that fullness that fullness effect that you get off um, of the testosterone and, and, and subsequent you know compounds so as I said if you come off for good then you're gonna lose pretty much everything that you've gained up until your natural potential uh, which you can still maintain at, uh, at natural potential if you keep training uh, and eating you know as, as, as per you should um, as far as actually you know let's say that you come off for six weeks uh, you're practically still on uh, you're not gonna lose a, a huge amount and by the time you come back on you're pretty much gonna be on this at the same spot now PCT um, I personally don't think that PCT is something that um, should be done for someone that's only gonna come off for four to five weeks now if you're someone that cycles for 12 weeks uh, then comes off and then you decide to stay off for 12 weeks then yeah I think PCT is a good uh, thing to uh, not even to kick start your production back up but more so to help you maintain some of that uh, some of those levels you know something like HCG which HCG would still increase your testosterone so you know for example when Rich Piano was talking about taking 5,000 5, IUs of HCG every other day well that pretty much is going to increase your natural testosterone uh, or even keep your testosterone at a higher level so you know as I say if you're coming off for a short period of time don't worry about it you're probably not gonna lose much and probably gonna pretty much keep all of it uh, and if you do lose some as soon as you come back on you will just bounce back up and come back on as far as that you re-glycogenate you know all that stuff is gonna come back up and then you're gonna you know uh, get back to the same size that you were and better however as I say if you're gonna come off for good or if you're gonna come off completely um, then yeah you probably even with a PCT you just haven't got the same stimulus you haven't got you know the properties that it gives you you haven't got them like you, you haven't got that hormone uh, the, your levels are not as high which is why you can't keep it anyway enough rambling for today I hope that kind of explains uh, the topic I hope that video doesn't get taken down again and if so you should you should uh, soon be able to see all that content on uh, the new platform that I'm moving on I'll be showing you soon and uh, for now guys I hope it's been informative